Soundtrack LLC, and Kinsey, and another Kinsey. There's a football sticker, level lock, and windows. We call it a text log of Gretzky at 608 358 1760. There's some piles of ice. There's what used to be a bounce map. There's a notice that guns, knives, and weapons of any kind are banned on these premises. Walking in, there's several open parking spaces. There's an empty can, a bunch of snow piles, a couple of trash cans, sort of a corral to keep the trash cans. Turning the corner, there's a tree and more parking lot. Two handicap stalls, <coughs> more notices that guns, knives, and weapons of any kind are banned on these premises. It's a green Toyota Corolla parked in the driveway. There's a sign about parking, gas meters, and empty camera cigarette pack on the ground. Here's the door for the community partnerships. 1334 Dewey Street. Continuing down Dewey Street. In front of me, I see Dickens Street. Passing the Wisconsin Academy for Graduate Service Dogs. See a sign for WAGs. There's more snow and mud on the ground. A bunch of trash in the gutter. Coming up on some chalk on the ground, um, what appears to be some signage for the event tonight. Yep, it's the pizza part tonight. To your right, heading down Dickinson Street, passing some covered graffiti on Home Pole. The other side of the street is a central services building. University of Wisconsin Tandem Press seems to be located inside. <coughs> there appears to be a uh, window cleaning with the slogan, Let There Be Light. Not sure if that had a religious connotation or not. Coming up on a sign that indicates there is a crosswalk. Uh, the bike tire seems to be touching a pedestrian's foot. Continuing forth about two past Wilson Street, decided to take a right down Wilson Street, uh, which is a mighty boulevard. You see a sign for flammable gas. Hands are getting a little bit cold now, so I'm going to put on my gloves. No trespassing sign. Anyway, somebody's house has a very nice window cut out. That's um, a sofa one. This um, grill, wooden bench, statue of a certain dog. Sort of an alleyway with some trash cans and compost bins. There's some knitting tied around this post. Um, some spider lights hung over this door. It was um, a dead Christmas tree. So I'm looking around, seeing a bunch of houses, a lot of cedar siding, lots of snow still. Walking down the street, see a little bridge, sign for the mayor, so it's it. Um, our peeled off bumper sticker about recalling Scott Walker. Some rope lights and clothes pins and some green lattice. Some more trash. Boxes for um, a light. A very comfortable looking chair. About to pass She and Pass Street. Fire hydrant on the corner here. See a sign for underground fire cable. Uh, the four phone is on the biggest hotline at 1 800 242 8511. 
please stay signed, please knock. Um, my door or call. Let's take a quick look at the number. Appears to be a pretty crappy bookshelf and two pillows. Some blue siding. Steps, some more trash cans, sort of a weird outbuilding, a big chunk of hose, metal barrel, a pile of black trash bags, a stop sign with a white bike, something to assume that somebody had been killed. This intersection. This is a, an emergency exit. Street uh, appears to be bald in the street, but across it. Uh, the Mad Town printing is right here. There's a shop and an office. Um, so this is uh, the sidewalk going in this direction. And it's stopped. So I'm going to take a right on this street, which is Baldwin, past the uh, Mad Town printing. Hear a radio or some kind of voice. Uh, yes, I think I'm coming from this little shed on this porch with uh, some tarps over the windows. Um, there's a single ASIC shoe on top of this mailbox. Here's to be the left one. Oh, it's actually Mizuno brand. There's also a blue glove on the ground down below. Um, Havard Design and Construction is right here. Some trash cans with edges painted on. Some warehouses for rent if you call 2410174 or 2447439. There's a tree with some supports. A little white building with green trim. More notices about underground cabling. Coming up here on the tracks. There's a big puddle the remnants of a scraper and brush. Scrapes to be broken. South control number 1379. Out across the track, see some sort of radio strapped to this telephone pole. A couple of black tubes protruding from the ground. Probably hold some sort of cable. I'm pulling my hat down over my ears a little bit more because it's a, a little chilly. Crossing another set of train tracks. Just to see if um, this is still being recorded, and it is, and I hope that it's loud enough for me to hear. Cross another set of tracks. Looking at an American flag and some radio poles. It's a receiving dock for um, a gas and electric company. And there's a very large pipe down the spout. Noticing more of the radio antennas. This is likely from all uh, the meters in town um, that report how much gas or electricity has been used so they can charge you accordingly. I'm walking through a large puddle right now. Got waterproof boots, so I'm not too concerned with my feet getting wet. The Enterprise Center has a lot of things in it. Heart and Sons, Art Tarot, Backflip Film Productions, Broad Jam, Commonwealth Gallery, Craft Optics LLC, Hinkley Productions, Lala's Nuts, Little People Studio, Lock and Charge, Modern Movement, Keeps Eyewear, Potter's Fine Foods, Clint's and Apple, Radiant Glass, Renee Glass Factory, SNL Design Works, and the Faded Out Filament Games. Fire hydrant here with uh, some things on the road saying, don't park here. Full of orange cones, a couple of bushes with a lot of snow. On top of them, a sign about no parking and that, that this is private property. Appears to be a sky bridge in front of me. It's a clearance of 13 feet 6 inches. 
look down and there's a cherry on the ground. Some other rubble, some cars going by, kind of a wire sticking out of his phone pole. This appears to be a wet nap on the ground, pop curse wrapper, uh, an empty Mickey's. Guy who was in front of me just turned around. Seeing some other rocks and debris. Yeah. The guy just passed me. I noticed this great trash bag on the ground. Coming up on a little bit busier of an intersection, Baldwin and Washington. I see a bike rack here now underneath the sky bridge that I mentioned earlier. See some power boxes. The lock sign is on across Washington. Notice that there's a lock sign that is giving off um, a verbal signal with a Wisconsin accent. It seems pretty adorable. Um, zero seconds left on the light, and I'm still in the intersection, not really making a very hard effort to get through. Somebody's wanted to turn, but they ended up making it. Light just turned green. People are going through the intersection. Uh, coming up on the Baldwin Grill Street, or the Baldwin Street Grill, uh, appears to be closed. There's sort of a hexagon window with some square chicken wire. Oh, there does appear to be people in this grill. Somebody with twins jersey seems to be sitting down in front of a video poker machine. Heading forward on the street, um, there's a couple of houses that have probably been converted into duplexes. They've got satellite dishes on them. There's a Messner Incorporated building, a pen, I'm not sure what it is, but it's got a couple of antennas. I just sort of tripped a little bit. Um, looking down now, seeing a couple of manhole covers. Seeing a fireplace clean out. Uh, yes, this building appears to be for lease. If you call 258-4640, you might be able to inquire more. Quality tools for smart cleaning, indoor and outdoor. You can rent carpet cleaners, vacuum cleaners, floor machines, or wet dry vats by the day, weekend, or week. Apparently, if you rent them for the week, you get a day free. Here, I can see a fan. It looks like it's attached to some sort of handle and wheels. Looking at a smokestack now. I'm not sure. Here's the man of brick. Semi is going by, carrying some contraptions that I'm not really sure what. Fife's Corner Bistro is up and to my left. Notice a street lamp. And this sort of particular design, kind of a not very typical street lamp design. Kind of eyeing this intersection to see if there's a crosswalk, and there is. Madison police just drove by. This restaurant is for lease. If you call 285 8095, you'll be able to talk to the Mullins Group. This is the Fuller and Johnson Manufacturing Company office building. This building is significant for its association with Madison's industrial history. It is all that remains of the once expansive Fuller and Johnson Manufacturing Company, producer of farm implements in the first major industry in Madison. The building is also significant for its association with John A. Johnson, the firm's president. Johnson, a former state senator, was a leading industrial credited with establishing Madison as a manufacturing center and who, and who organized Madison's two largest turn of the century manufacturing firms, Fuller and Johnson and his old manufacturing company. It's a very nice looking building. 
seems to be pretty safe. It's got some stand pipes and fire alarms and a hydrant hookup. Seems to be very empty, very, very many windows. There's a lot of windows. Um, I'm going to be heading across Washington Street now. Somebody's feeling like they want to turn. It's actually going to go straight. Walking across Washington now. Appears to be one car and looks like all this fit right in between traffic. Uh, looks like I see a sign that says shop bot. I'm not sure what shop bot means. I see a sign for Ace Hardware. Maybe three blocks away. Um, open Sunday in 10 to 4. Walking by a guy who's carrying a case of Budweiser and a sack of groceries. Looks like Badger Welding Supply Incorporated is up here and to the left. Is it bent perfectly? Scanning to my left, I see a bunch of brick buildings. Sign for Superior Electronics. That's um, a piece of fruit. Made in an apple. It's pretty rotten. Walking across these Is train tracks and in the other direction by one set. Doesn't appear like I'll walk by as many as like they sort of split off, but maybe I sort of get to reach them. For signal trouble, you should probably call 1 800 236 9767. Is it bent perfectly? Continuing forward, noticing a no parking sign. Some sort of strange thing stuck to this tree. Blue truck and stop parking lot. Several piles of snow. Coming up on the intersection of Maine and Dickinson. Is it bent like See a dancer running away fearfully? Noticing this large, expansive, sort of turquoise roof. Appears to be a very, very large building. Again, bad. Another sign for Badger welding supplies. Appears to be closed. Shipping or seating appears to be up here and to my right. Some signs about parking. No parking, 10.30 to 2 p.m. Tuesday, May 1st and November 15th. Two hour parking, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Except Sunday and city holidays. Also, we decide something more than 7 a.m. There's no emergency. And I'll ask the Bob Corporation to see any of the signs about companies and firearms and demand. Notice these bushes planted out front. And to see a little.